Hi everyone, my name is Katie. I am a stay-at-home mom of two kids and I just wanted to upload maybe some cleaning inspiration, um, give some advice, tips and tricks, or just simply to help motivate you to get up and clean or do some household chores because I know I struggle with that sometimes. Um, it is easy to get distracted and not want to do anything. So I just figured I would upload some cleaning motivation, help you get motivated. And um, this is my very first video, so I'm not super great at it. Hopefully over time I will get better with the camera shots and angles and audio and stuff like that. And um, now I'm just gonna be walking around showing you the disaster that my house is in and um, showing you the rooms that I'm gonna be cleaning today going from room to room and just giving you the before. I'm gonna start off in the kitchen and I'm gonna be putting away all the dry clean dishes that are in the left side of the sink and then I'm going to start washing the dishes that are in the right side and all the dirty dishes that are on my counter. And um, I scrub my sink a few times only because I like to, while I'm washing the dishes, I let them sit in the sink until I'm ready to rinse them and then put them into the left side. And if the sink is dirty, I feel like the dishes get re-dirty. So I'll be scrubbing that quite often. And as you guys can see here, my sink, it's super clogged. And I need to get some Drano because even on the left side, later in the video, you'll see that I have to spray down. I have to use my sprayer to spray the bubbles that keep coming up on the left side of my sink where I'm putting the clean dishes at. I have to keep spraying it down. I think the pipes are getting clogged, so I have to also pick up some Drano to clean the drain so stuff does not keep getting clogged in these sinks. And here I just remembered that I had old soup from the night before sitting into my instant pot and I had to drain that. And I remembered after I just scrubbed my sink. So again, I'm gonna have to scrub the sink to get it clean.
Um, here I'm yelling and knocking at the window because my dog was trying to jump over the fence and my son was just bouncing on the trampoline and wasn't paying any attention. So I had to get his attention quickly before our dog escaped. And I wanted to mention that it probably seems like I'm using a lot of um, dishwashing liquid, but for the Instant Pot lid, I love my Instant Pot, I use it constantly, but for that rubber piece that goes around the rim of the lid, I use a lot of soap because if not, it just starts to smell like the food that I've cooked into it. So I just try to make sure I use a lot of soap for my Instant Pot because I use it nearly every single day to cook. It just helps a lot and it's really easy and um, it saves me a lot of time. So I have to use a lot of soap to make sure that it smells clean and not like the food from before. So like I said before, this is my very first video. Um, if you guys want any cleaning motivation, I will be doing some painting and stuff in my house. I am renting, but um, our landlady is very lenient, lets us paint, stuff like that. Um, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on videos you guys would like to see or what you guys would like for my channel, just leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know, and I will try my best to keep, provide the videos that you guys like. And here I'm just going to be using the same rag that I used to do the dishes just to wipe off the countertops and get off all the crumbs and stuff like that that was left over or food or whatever and just wipe all of that off and get that off the countertops. And 
And I'm going to be scrubbing the sink one more time. Hopefully it's the last time. And just getting it all clean. Making sure there's no leftover food from the dishes I've done. And then I should be done with dishes. And now that I'm done with the dishes, I'm going to be wiping off my stove top, the front of the oven, my fridge, and any other surfaces that need to be wiped down. And for my stove top, I do use this like in the spring and summertime. My sister made me this dish towel and pot holders and I use them just for decoration. She crocheted them for me a few years ago and I did end up changing it to a fall one and like, um, like fall plates and stuff like that. And I have a candle on there as well. And I'm going through getting out all the old fruit and stuff like that and from those baskets. And I'm just setting up my drink corner, my little coffee countertop, whatever. That shelf I got from Walmart, I believe. And I'm setting up my records, cleaning all that, dusting all that, because I have my record player on there as well. And I'm just organizing my coffees and stuff like that. And this paint I'm showing you guys, I'm going to be using it in my kitchen later. And the contact paper, we're also going to be putting that on the countertops. I just felt like it needed to be a little bit brighter in the kitchen. And um, I'm just going to be going through the drawers and the cabinets, cleaning all the stuff out that I don't use or don't need. These just get so full of clutter and it drives me nuts because I'll take something out, something else falls out. So I'm just gonna be going through that, folding dish rags, organizing and putting things where I would like them and where it works better for the kitchen.
in here for some reason I felt like you guys needed to see the seasoning jar that we use when we go camping so I for some reason I wanted to show you guys that And again, this is real life. By the time I'm done cleaning one thing, my kids have dishes and lunch stuff sitting. So I'm just gonna rinse out the sink again, clean that out and get everything emptied out of there. And here I'm gonna just wipe off my dining room table. This thing is older, it does wobble horrible. And some of the little pegs on the back of the chairs have broken off. And so um, me and my husband were actually going to make them all into stools and fill in the holes and repaint and repurpose the whole table, make it look brand new. Um, but we're dealing with what we got right now. It works, we have dinner at the ta table as a family at night. So I'm just gonna wipe this off and deep clean that down and deep clean all the chairs and disinfect.
in here I'm going to spray down the table and I am using the Miss Myers cleaner. It is this scent. I'll have to double check the scent, but this scent is the best scent. I love it so much. And then I'm going to use the Clorox wipes to wipe off the chairs and the table with the Miss Myers cleaner on all of it. And here I'm taking a dry microfiber rag and I'm drying off the table and um, that's because I don't do this all the time but it's because I just got a lot of new fall home decor and I got a tablecloth that I wanted to put on the table and I didn't want to put it on there wet and it somehow mess it up or just get stuck and so I was just drying that off just for today just so I could put that back on there and um when we eat, we do eat on top of that tablecloth because it's like a plastic vinyl type and it's got like a cloth on the bottom so it sticks better. But we do eat on top of it and I just wipe it off whenever we're done eating and stuff like that. Guys, I know you see the stains all over this shirt. I don't know why. I even have this shirt anymore. It is a super old shirt I wear it to sleep in and clean in. And now that I see how bad it looks from someone else's view, it's going in the trash right now. Okay, so these are little candlestick holders. Um, they, the lights on them, they plug in and they're just normal um, Christmas lights. But I decided to do foam foam pumpkins from, um, I think these were from the Dollar Tree. They were 99 cent each. And I'm just wiping those off and putting, and I stuck those on top of the candle holders instead of candles. And I just thought it looked extra cute for fall. And I'm just wiping those down and dusting. And this lamp, I had not dusted it in forever. And the bottom of it was so gross. And it was like sticky dust. And sticky dust is the worst to clean off. So I was wiping that off. And then moving into the living room, I'm just decluttering and like giving my kids stuff that they know where it goes and where it's supposed to go. And they're helping me put up everything that doesn't belong there. And I'm going to spray everything down with Febreze. That's a brand new blanket, so I don't know why I went crazy with Febreze. But I think it, it, um, that Febreze is like cranberry something. So it smelled so good. And um, so I wanted the whole house to smell like that. And... I do have a dog that has white hair and my couch is so dark so I have to vacuum the couch cushions and everything in it constantly. So I'm vacuuming all that. I took everything off the couch so I could vacuum those little cracks inside of the couch. And I usually pull out the couch cushions but I just didn't even want to deal with that today and I had done it like a week before so it wasn't necessary. So I'm just going to go around and vacuum. I also just got these pillows from Walmart. They were $5 each and I just thought they were super cute and I love the pattern on them. I just like anything like 
burnt red, burnt orange, anything like that. I love it. fall. Fall is my all time favorite season. And these old pillows, the only reason those are even still on the couch is because the checkered ones that I just got will not stay up. And if I put the older ones with them, they stay up a little bit better, but the new ones just slide right off the couch. So those are the only reason that those are even still here. So here I'm just gonna spray down the coffee table with some Windex and wipe the glass top off of it. Um, I do try to do this pretty often because of the dog hair. I have a white dog and again, the dog hair goes everywhere. So I'm just gonna wipe that off and dust. The coffee table is really, really big and heavy. So I don't move it around too much or like get underneath it um, unless I absolutely have to. And these are fall decorations that I had got and I had them set out, but I didn't have everything like the way I wanted it. I just did it to see how they looked. So I'm gonna set everything up how I think it'll look nice and get that all ready for fall. And I'm just picking up controllers for our Switch, the Xbox, and dusting off this TV stand.
apparently I was super thirsty and needed some water, but um, I'm just gonna spray out the TV with Windex. Um, there's tons of little fingerprints all over this TV. I don't even know how or why there's tons of fingerprints. They're not even supposed to touch the TV. But I'm just going in with Windex and a rag and cleaning that. I just started using the Jaws glass cleaner and it works so well and it has no strong Windex smell. So I'm super excited that I got those cleaners and started using those and it doesn't leave any streaks. And the set that I got comes with like, a, it's almost like a felt rag. It's not even microfiber. It gets off every little thing. It is perfect for the TV. So here I'm just going to be tidying up the entryway, putting the shoes where they go, picking up my slipper socks that I wear, and that paint that's on the floor, I actually picked it up because we're going to be doing a kitchen remodel. And that's my son's BB gun. He leaves it by the door because he will go out to the back and he will shoot at his targets and stuff like that. And he obviously forgot to put it away. And here I'm going to be in my bedroom. One of my makeup palettes just broke off the floor and I had to pick all that up. And I'm gonna clean off my vanity, go around picking up, wiping off the countertops and any surfaces with the Pledge antibacterial and just organizing and trying to clean around there. And here I had these perfumes and lotions and stuff in a downstairs bathroom closet and I started um, couponing and I've been building up a stockpile. So I've been using that for like the toilet papers and paper towels and stuff. So I didn't have any more room for my perfume. So I emptied out that drawer. Well, it was already partially empty, but I emptied it out all the way in my vanity and I'm putting all my perfumes and some of my lotions and some of my daughter's lotions in there as well, just so we could have it out of the way of my stockpile. So I have a lot of trash um, in my room and it's because my daughter's birthday had just passed and she had got some money for her birthday and we were opening up all her gifts and um, items that she had bought with her birthday money and I think we did that the night before and I even filmed this so I'm closing all those boxes, throwing away the trash and getting all that out and throwing away all the dirty laundry, putting that into a pile, trying to organize and pick up all the books and shoes and stuff that are laying around. And all the stuff that's going to have to go downstairs, like my daughter's stuff, her headphones and stuff like that, teddy bears and all that, um, I put into a pile and then I carry it downstairs all at once so I don't have to keep running up and down the stairs to do all that. So I can just get it done once and be done with it. And I'm going to be making my bed. I cleared it all off, got everything off, dirty clothes, put them where they went. And I'm just going to be folding my bed. Um, I got this comforter set from, I think it was my mother actually a few years ago. And I love it. I like it because it's super heavy, 
but I think I'm changing out to another one that I got from my mother-in-law because that had just gotten out of the washer. This one is more for like fall because it is super thick and you get so hot from using this blanket. And here I go with Febreze everywhere again. I've had that bottle for like a day or two and it's already half empty. So, but just spraying around the house, making sure it smells good and just gonna fold my bed and I should be close to done in the room. And now that I am done with the bedroom and upstairs, I'm gonna be taking all the stuff that needed to go back downstairs. I'm gonna carry that downstairs. Now we're gonna start cleaning the bathroom. I just ran out of my rubber gloves, so I'm just gonna to have to go and do it like this. And because they needed it so bad, there was no time to wait and I had just ordered them, but I still had to do what I needed to do. So I'm going to open the windows up because I, this cleaner, the, for the shower, it is so strong. It starts to give me a headache and I know that's bad, but again, I know I needed it done, but I started using the jaws cleaner. I ordered the whole set and the shower cleaner, it smells so clean and it's not like super overpowering or anything. So I am excited to start using those again. And this cleaner, I'm just gonna spray it all over. I'm not even sure what brand it is. I'm gonna scrub that down and let that soak. And then I'm gonna clean my mirrors, wipe out the sinks, and just wipe all the surfaces and disinfect really well in here. I also want to mention, I know you guys see how many rags I'm going through. These yellow rags, I use them for everything. I got a really, I think it was like 40 pack at Walmart. They're the microfiber ones. And I use them constantly. And for some reason, if I use it on one thing, I always have to go get a new one. So I'm going through these things quickly.
And here is another clue that I am a beginner at YouTube. I didn't realize how long I was out of the frame and what I was doing and cleaning, but I'm just wiping off that back shelf that we have behind our toilet. I just keep like toilet paper in there, just extra spares and like our soaps and toothpaste and stuff like that. Look, I know y'all just seen me almost fall over my toilet trying to move, but I wanted to wipe down the sides of the toilet because it gets dusty if I don't, and I absolutely hate that because I feel like it's just so gross, especially where it's by the toilet. So I was just trying to wipe that over, and here I fall on my butt. And here I'm rinsing off all the cleaner that I used and anything that's left over. I just wanted to rinse it off and um, I'm going to go in with a dry microfiber rag here. And I do this because I don't want it to like build up mildew or anything like that because the water is sitting there. And I don't know if it would, I just would rather not. So I'm just going to go in and dry all this off and make sure that there's no mold mildew where I didn't miss anything in the shower.
So these were the microfiber rags, all of them that I used to be wiping all the surfaces down. And even Doc was like, what in the heck? Why did you use so many? But I'm going to vacuum the whole house now. I'm using my Shark Robot vacuum. I was just using a regular broom, but this thing picks up so much easier. And if with my dog, if I just use the broom, I feel like I don't get all of what I need picked up. I could have sworn I just picked up everything off this table, but you know what? I got two kids. I go from room to room picking them after the messes happen. So my son was playing with his Lego set on the table and I just moved it for a little bit, the table, and put it right back so he can get back to playing. So here I have to keep looking back because my kids are showing me something on the TV, some game that they were playing and they had to keep showing me their characters and stuff like that. So I had to keep stopping and seeing their awesome, amazing character.
literally guys every time i vacuum or start cleaning this is what my dog does he follows me from room to room to room and just stands there and i have to push him out of the way every single time you will see him throughout this whole video he wants to be a star And I'm just making my way up my stairs vacuuming, shoving Doc out of the way so I can get upstairs and vacuum my bedroom. Y'all, this is just what I vacuumed in my bedroom, and it is just pretty much dog hair and dust. 
and I'm going to vacuum out Doc's cage really well because, again, he sheds horrible. So I'm going to be vacuuming out his cage really well, and of course, he is very interested in what I am doing. And in the bathroom is the last room that I'm going to be sleeping and mopping. So I'm going to be picking up all the rugs, shaking those out, and picking up the trash can so I can vacuum and mop in here. The bathroom is the last room that I always do when I vacuum and when I mop. I just feel like it's cleaner that way. So I'm not going from the bathroom first, then my bedroom and stuff like that using the mop and the vacuum. So we're just going to do this and then we should be close to done. And so I'm using the Shark Steam Mop. Like this isn't an advertisement for Shark or anything. I just really, really love their cleaning products. And this, it actually helps me out because I used to have another steamer and it would just have constant steam and I would run out of water constantly in it and have to keep refilling it. So this one, it is like a pump action handle and when you pump onto it, it'll let release the steam. So I absolutely love the Steam Mop. And um, this is one that I will use for a while, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna go around, use this, steam out my floors and get everything all disinfected.
And now that I'm done steam mopping, I'm going to be laying down all the rugs and putting the trash can where it goes. And I'll be showing you guys the afters of each room. I did lose the footage of my bedroom afterwards. But um, at the end, you can see how it was cleaned when I walk out of there. So I'm just going to go around show you the whole after. And if you guys um, like cleaning motivational videos, any types of videos like that, um, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. I will be uploading more content. I'll try to get it one out every week. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos, um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Thank you guys for watching.